Yo, 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 my name is Baloo and right now I'm with Cardi B. How are you? Good. Good. Bitch, you can fuck with me if you wanted to. These expensive, these is red bottoms, these is bloody shit. I see you speak a little bit of French. I don't. <laughs> like, well, I, I know a couple of things because I studied it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For a little time period in college, but yeah. it's just like, oh, fuck. <laughs> you know what? I got a French gift for you. What are they, snails? Yeah, you can watch. <laughs> Snappity snap snap <laughs> snappity. <laughs> These are by you. <laughs> Thank you, Cardi, Par Cardi B. Yeah, excuse Cardi my custom. They made it for you. Thank you, baby. <laughs> I'm wearing some shirt for you too. You know I love free shit. You know I don't like to spend money on nothing. <laughs> Everybody loves free shit. You know why? Sexual I'm, healing. You, you you know why I brought, um, I brought you I brought you that because. I really, you know, when you first like drop your mixtape, I was telling everybody, oh, she's gonna be big. She was, they was like, nah, not sure, blah, blah, blah. She a really reality star show. She's a stripper, she's not gonna be big. And you can watch on Twitter, I was like, no, she's gonna be big. And now you're big. I was in California for the BET Awards and you dropped Bodakura, I was like, it's gonna be a hit. And I was right. So congratulations for what you've done. Thank you. Merci. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And Merci. <laughs> Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. Beaucoup means a lot, right? Thank yeah, you yeah, you got it. And what I like with you is that you're real. That's what I like. <laughs> you know I'm real, but you know I'm doing my titties is a little bit fake. <laughs> I'm in a good mood. You're crazy. Yeah. Uh -huh. Can you tell us more about you for people that know you since Boda Kilo, where you come from, your grind, everything about you, your story? Well, you know, um, I'm from the I'm from the Bronx. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, a lot of people think that when I when I started when I joined reality TV, that that's when I wanted to rap. I was rapping before that, mm -hmm. and I was a little bit hesitant to join. Um. A reality TV show because I felt like it, it, it might have uh, like damage everything that I was working for for being a rapper. You know, like you know, before Love and Hip Hop, I already had a million mm. followers. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. So it's just like I have a million followers. I already have a big fan base. Well, you know, pretty good at the time. Uh, I already have the money that I could invest. I have a manager that was gonna help me push my music. And I was just like, I wanna do, I wanna do music. But I was still stripping. And it's just like, when, you know, when, when it's like, all right, you don't really have that much money. And a lot of people keep telling you like, reality TV show might change your life. It could make you so much money. You're gonna start getting booked for this amount of money. It's just like, it's something that you just cannot deny. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. You cannot deny like, certain opportunities and I took that risk scared and it worked and and it worked for me but you gotta have a plan you gotta do it smart you gotta you gotta play your cards right I'm yeah. very savvy bitch you can fuck with me if you wanted to these expensive these is red. what advices can you give to like female artists that want to be just like you just keep doing it keep doing it and um be the whole package you know like a lot of a lot of people feel you know some some a lot of female rappers they don't like me like small rappers right they're like i'm trying to come up i know a lot of them don't be asking themselves like why her not me you gotta be the whole package mm -hmm. you know um you don't have to be like a sex appeal but you gotta you gotta catch the eye in a certain type of way. You don't gotta have fake boobs, fake body. You don't gotta be, you know, like this sexy girl. Mm -hmm. But you have to have something that catches the body that I mean that catches the eye, that make people interest because people do wanna see. And then on top of that, talent of course, because talent is the biggest thing. Don't don't ever feel pressure like you gotta rap extremely crazy do music your style you yeah. know what i'm saying do music your style and invest good i invested in my shit to be properly mixed and properly produced i invested in all of that and how much did you invest in your music when i was independent i'll say i i invested about with videos mm -hmm. with videos um trying to put my music on mix, uh, putting tours together. I say I've spent about 200000 That's a lot. 
<laughs> yeah, with, with the money that I made, yeah. with loving hip hop, mm -hmm. with going, um, doing these different shows, and and, and shipping. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And do you think it's harder for a girl to to blow up in this music industry, or I mean, as a rapper? It is harder. It, it, it is harder, especially because there's some women that they don't even rap. They just like, I don't know, I feel like a lot of women sometimes see me doing it and they just think that I woke up one day like, hey, I want to be a rapper. Mm. I'm just going to do it. Fuck it. I'm just going to do it. And it's like, no, it, it, it don't happen like that. Bitch, you can fuck with me if you wanted to. These expensive, these is red. How does girl choose their boyfriend? Um, it, it, it really depends as as you get older, you know, like me, I always used to choose the guy that I used to like with like the face. Mm -hmm. I like to, I love an attractive, good looking face. I like sex appeal and I love gangsterness. I like hoodness. Mm -hmm. Before I used to only date um, gang members. As I get older, I like to date guys that are passionate about work. Like, I work 24-7. I want a man that works 24-7. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, it, it, I, I see that it's so much convenient to date somebody in the same field as me because they understand how important it is to do interviews. They understand how important it is to um, go to radio stations. They understand um, how important to how important to do everything that every little thing counts it, it's kind of hard dating somebody that is not in your field but even if i was to date somebody that wasn't in my field i need somebody that i could do a future with you know i got you do you think it's okay to check your boyfriend phone for a girl i do you do that i did that a couple of times <laughs> yup i did i really 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 did and it's just like if you want to see Something you you know that is you take it at your own risk. If you don't want to see something that you don't want to see, that I say not to check it. But if you want to see it, then go ahead and <laughs> and after you see it, and if you don't see something that you like, then you know, quick to cut a nigga off. Is it possible to stay with a man that don't give good sex? <laughs> <laughs> I I think eventually I think eventually you will get tired and eventually. Yeah. You cheat. You know, it's not always about sex mm -hmm. because I have dated guy. I have dated people. I dated a, the most of the men that I dated and I took and I have taken serious. They have been incarcerated, and you know we we couldn't have sex. Mm -hmm. And then now I'm with with my fiance, right? Mm -hmm. And we do a lot of shows. We be um, away from each other sometimes for a long time, and we don't have sex. But um. And the sex is good, fuck that, you know what I'm <laughs> If the sex is bad, then it's just like, eventually you're gonna have to cheat or you're not gonna feel satisfied. Like, being so awkward in sex is just like, I, I can't do it anymore. Bitch, you can fuck with me if you wanted to. These expensive, these is red. If you gotta pick four songs to make a Cardi B playlist, which song do you pick? Why not? Like, I mean, music, right? <laughs> I listen to a lot of Caribbean music and I listen Caribbean? to a, oh, dope. Yeah, Caribbean music and I listen to a lot of Spanish music mm. because I listen to hip hop music everywhere I go. It's always in the radio. It's always in these different states that I go to. You know, like I feel like in America, the only state I'm not gonna say the only state. Like the state that plays Caribbean music the most is New York. Everywhere I go, they just mm. I don't I'm, hear it. I'm Caribbean too, that's what I thought. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like on my free time, mm. I'm going to enjoy it. Mm. And I'm going to hear it and I and I hear English and I hear Spanish music. I mean, Caribbean and Spanish music all the time yeah. is what I enjoy the most. So that's what you would practically hear like that. Bitch, you can fuck with me if you wanted to. These expensive, these is I'm gonna teach you French right now. We're gonna end with that. So I'll translate your song Black Yellow in French. I'm gonna do you first, show you uh, how it sounds, and then we're gonna try to do it together, right? You ready? Okay, listen. 
petite salope, tu peux pas jouer avec moi si tu le voulais. C'est cher, ce sont des semelles rouges, ces chaussures ou change. Je vais au magasin, je veux avoir les deux, je ne veux pas choisir. Et je suis rapide à éjecter un gars, alors je te sens pas à l'aise. Regarde, je ne danse pas là, je fais de l'oseille. J'ai dit, je pas dansé, je fais de l'oseille. Si je te vois et que je ne parle pas, ça signifie que je te ne valide pas. Je suis un boss, tu es un employé, j'ai des mouvements sanglants. But we're gonna do the, the first part, it's gonna be. You know what? I came here and I started remembering the shit that I learned in college and I was feeling good about myself and now I just feel like, oh. Fuck. Let's try the first one. Petite. Petit. Salope. Sa Bitch petit means salope. Salope, salope. yeah. Petit salope. Tu. Tu. Ne. Ne. Peu. Peu. Pas. Pas. Jouer. Je vais. Avec. Avec. Moi. moi si, si. Si. Tu. Tu. Ne. Les, voulais. Les voulais. Petite salope. <rire> Petite. Petit salope. salope. Tu ne peux pas. Tu ne peux pas. Jouer. Jouer. Avec moi. Avec moi. Si tu le voulais. Si tu le voulais. I, I fucked up that one. Right? Si tu le voulais. Okay, you know what? Let me know what you want to learn and I can teach you a little sentence. Easier. I'm about to teach you some Spanish. How about that? Uh, let's go. Let's go. Hablo, Spanish, uh, hablo español uh, un poquito. Déjame quieta. ¿Qué dices? Leave me alone. <laughs> All right. How do you say that? Déjame quieta. They are me, Cheta. Okay, I'll leave you alone. Thanks, Cardi. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, it was good. Bitch, you can fuck with me if you wanted to. These expensive, these expensive. I'm sad. Well, I do, I do like the crowd. The crowd was amazing, but I'm sad because it's just like, fuck. Like, you know, this is really an American dream. Mm, American, yeah. America's dream to yeah. come to Paris, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah I got you. They dream of this shit. They dream to go to the Eiffel Tower mm. and freaking uh, shop here. And then it's just like, I feel like I don't have enough time. Like, that's you, not fair. If you got to say something to your French fan, and we're gonna end with that. Bonjour. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for supporting my music. Oui. <laughs> Thank you so much for supporting my music. Thank you so much. Um, I had a good time tonight. I, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, when you go to a foreign country and the and their first language is not, you know, your native language. Like, you know, French is your native language. And it's like, oh my God, they know my shit word for word. <laughs> Cardi B in the building, friends. Peace. Peace. <laughs> Adam, these is bloody shoes. Hit the school, I can get them both.